learn two things with volume. We're, first, we're going to uh, find the missing measurement of a cube or a prism that has the volume already given. And then once we finish doing those types of problems, we will move on to finding um, the volume where there's missing cubes. Okay, so let's begin with this first one where we're going to find missing measures. Now our volume is given right here. One foot cubed or one cubic foot. So the inside of this entire uh, rectangular prism or cube is going to be one foot cubed. So that means I already know my volume is one, but I don't know what the length is, I don't know what the width is, and I don't know what the height is. Well, I have to figure out what three numbers will I multiply together to get one. Well, that's not too difficult. We should all know this. One. One times one times one is one. So each one of these missing measures, so each question mark is going to be one foot. Now, it's not cubic feet or feet cubed because you're just taking the measurement of one side, one length, which is only one foot long. We're not taking the whole space inside. We're just doing the measurement of one, one side or one length, this one side and this one side. So it's one foot by one foot by one foot to get me a total of one cubic feet. Okay. So now on this next problem, we see that our volume is 60 inches cubed. So it's going to be 60 equals, now our length is, we don't know, and they're using an X to represent the length, how long it is. And we're going to multiply that by their width of 2 inches. And once we do that, we're going to multiply it by the height of 3 inches. So length times width times height. Now we don't know the length and that's what we need to find out. So I know 60 is the length I don't know times 2 times 3, which is 6. So I have to figure out one number would multiply by 6 to get me 60. 6 times, oh, 10. So x is going to be 10 inches because I notice that my labels here are inches. And it's only one side, so it's one length, which is in inches, not the whole inside, which is cubic inches. Okay, now let's try the next one. So if we look here, my volume is 60 centimeters cube. And my length, how long it is, I don't know. And here they're using a Y to represent a number we don't know for the length. I'm going to multiply that by our width of 4 and our height of five. Okay, so 60 is our total volume and we don't know the length and then we're going to multiply that by our width and height which is five times four which is 20. So now I have to say to myself what is y times 20 will get me 60? Well 20 times 3 will get me 60. So my answer is y here is going to be 3 centimeters long. Okay, that's how long it is. 3 centimeters long. So if I can check that by saying 3 times 4 times 5. So let's do that real quick just to do a check. So 3 times 4 times 5 should equal my total volume of 60 centimeter cubes. So um, I know 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 times 3 is 60, so the answer is correct. So that 3 there is correct, so the 3 would go right here for the length that we're missing. Okay, so the next problem I have here, um, my volume is 240, meter, 240 meters cubed, so that's my volume, and my length, how long something in, is 10 meters and I'm going to multiply that by my width, what I don't know, they're representing it with an X. That's the letter, that's the number, the amount we don't know for the width. And our height is 8 meters. So I know that I have 240 for my volume. And I know I, got, I can do 10 times 8, which is 80. And multiply that by the X, that's the width that I don't know and I need to find out. So I know that 
um, 80 times something is going to get me 240. So I know that, I remember if I cross off this zero here, I can cross off this zero here, and I got 8 times something will get me 24, which is 3. Oh, so X is going to be 3 meters because it's only the, the, length, the width, the length there, that we're using there. So let's double check. Can 80 times 3 make 40, 240? And it does. Okay. All right. So let's do one more. Now this one is like the first one. We have the volume of 8, and we don't know what our length is. And they're using question marks here. We don't know what our width is, and we don't know what our height is. And they're using question mark to represent that number. Now, I'm guessing that it's going to all be the same number because they're using the same symbol, which is question mark. That should be a question mark right there. All right. Um, so what number time I multiply itself three times will get me eight. I know one times one times one is one, so that's not it. Let's try two. Two times two times two. Let's see if that works. Two times two times two. So two times two is four, and four times two more is eight. So eight equals eight. So each of these question marks up here is going to be worth two. They're all going to be two inches. So it's a two inch by two inch by two inch cube to make eight inches cubed as my total volume. All right, now let's look at um, the vo finding volume of cubes or rectangular prisms where we are having, where we have missing cubes. Now, I know that I have to use volume, the formula, volume equals length times width times height. And I know that this on the bottom here is filled with cubes. And that's what we call the base. It's what's on the bottom that's touching like a table or the floor or something solid where it's going to just sit on. And that's called the base. It's at the bottom. So I notice that there's three cubes going this way. And three cubes going this way. Okay, so this is my base, three by three. And then I have um, cubes going up tall for the height. So there's one, two, three, four. So my height is four. So I've got my three numbers now. Three times three times four. So three times three is nine. And nine times four more is 36. I don't have a measurement, so I'm going to call them cubic units. And I'm just going to abbreviate that. And remember, when you label things that don't have measurements, like this had a measurement indicator of inches, if it doesn't, then you're going to use the standard units, which we call cubic units. Um, oh, oops, I wrote the wrong thing. Sorry, they're not cubic units. Cubic inches, they're cubic units. I put it. I there instead of you. Oops, I had the big eraser, sorry. Okay, so let's fix that. So that's a four here. So if we don't know them, we're gonna call them cubic units. Cubic units, because that's standard and that's what we don't know. All right, let's try another one. So if we look here, we have a, let's check our base. We have one, two, three, four going on this edge and we have one, two, three, four, five going this way. So I have a length of five, a width of four, and my height is one, two, three, three. So the volume of this rectangular prism with missing cubes is four times five times three. Four times five is 20 and 20 times three more is 60. And I don't know the measurements, so they're the standard ones, which is cubic units. Okay, and I'll just abbreviate it. Cube, CU for cubic, and UM for units. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to this next one. And this next one is the base here is four cubic, four cubes long and by three cubes wide. And then I have a height. One in the top here, and right underneath it will be another one, so that'll be two. It'll be two cubic units tall. 
So I have the volume here is going to be 4 by 3 by 2. So 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times 2 more is 24. And my measurement is cubic units because it doesn't give me a measurement. So we'll just use the standard. Okay, so finally, this last one here, I'm going to look at the base. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units long. And my width is 1, 2, 3 units wide. And the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So the volume of this rectangular prism is 6 by 3 by 5. So 6 times 3 is 18, and 18 times 5 more. And remember, you can go off to the side and do this vertically if you need to. And we get 90. So it's 90. Oops, that's a 9. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. Let me fix this. Okay, let's get a small eraser. There we go. Okay, so it's 90 cubic units. Okay, so that's how you find uh, missing measures of cubes with um, volume already given and you don't have the, you have to find a missing measure around one of the sides. Or how to find the volume of a rectangular prism or a cube where there is missing cubes. Um, remember to find the base and then multiply by the height and you're good to go. All right, good luck and have fun.